Did you know that the world's youngest self-made billionaire formed multi-billion dollar companies from just a simple idea? All from scratch. Before even turning 30, these young achievers have attained a level of success and accumulated an incredible wealth that many of us can only dream of. They have accomplished what seems unattainable for most. We'll show you where they started, how old they were and the net worth at the time they achieved billionaire status. What inspired them? How did they overcome obstacles become some of the world's richest people? They're not just lucky. They have worked incredibly hard to achieve their dreams and are now inspiring millions of young people worldwide. But how do they do it? What's their secret to success? What sets them apart from the rest of us? Without further ado, let's get started. Number 9. Alex Atala, $2.2 billion at age 30. He was born in 1992 and grew up in Miami, Florida. From an early age, he has always been very interested in computers and programming. He went to Stanford University, where he studied computer science and was part of the Mayfield Fellows Program, which teaches people how to start their businesses. After Atala graduated from college in 2016, he worked as a software engineer at a few startups. In 2017, he and his college friend Devin Finzer started OpenSea. OpenSea is a digital market where people can buy, sell, and find non-fungible tokens, which are unique digital assets that use blockchain technology and can't be swapped with other tokens, known as NFTs. Quite an amazing platform, right? It is noteworthy that Atala and Finzer founded OpenSea as a side project while working in other firms, yet it rapidly gained popularity in the emerging NFT market. OpenSea experienced a surge in revenue during the NFT boom of 2021, growing from $95 million in February to nearly $3 billion by September of the same year. Consequently, the company was valued at approximately $13 billion, propelling Atala to the status of a billionaire. Number 8. Andy Fang, $2 billion at 28. He is the guy behind the meal delivery service DoorDash, which has grown to be one of the biggest businesses in its industry. He was born in the San Francisco Bay Area in 1991. Brought up in a family emphasizing entrepreneurship and hard work, his mother worked as a real estate agent and his father was an engineer. From a young age, he has been showing interest in business and technology. He met his DoorDash co-founders while attending Stanford University. With his co-founders, they saw a void in the market for meal delivery services and decided to fill it. They recognized a chance to employ technology to enhance and streamline the distribution process. After swiftly gaining popularity, DoorDash extended to other locations throughout the United States. Due to the company's success, it grew significantly and successfully completed an IPO in December 2020, making Fang a self-made billionaire. Without a doubt, Fang is successful because of his ambition, wit, and capacity for spotting and seizing business chances. Number 7. John Collison, $1.1 billion at 27. He was born in Limerick, Ireland on September 6, 1990, and was brought up in a household that valued education and enterprise. Interestingly, he taught himself how to code when he was 17 and started creating software, which ultimately resulted in the founding of Stripe two years later. It's one of the most popular payment platforms on the internet, providing payment processing services for online businesses. The business expanded quickly in a short period and today operates in more than 25 nations. By 2018, when Stripe's valuation reached $20 billion, John became one of the youngest self-made billionaires in the world. John's success is evidence of his ambition and entrepreneurial spirit. Technology and its ability to improve society have long piqued his curiosity. He is now 32 years old and as per current estimates, his net worth stands at $6.9 billion. Number 6. Ryan Breslow, $1.3 billion at 27. Breslow was raised in a middle-class family in California and developed a passion for technology and business from a young age. At 19, he left college to launch his first business, a mobile app development company. Despite the early losses, Breslow persevered eventually selling the business to raise money for his subsequent endeavor. After recognizing the need for an efficient and hassle-free checkout system, he embarked on establishing a business to cater to this demand. As a result, Volt was founded in 2014 with the goal of streamlining the checkout process for online buyers. 
Thanks to its widespread appeal among millions of consumers globally, Bolt quickly gained popularity and evolved into one of the fastest-growing e-commerce entities in the world. Although Breslow achieved his billionaire status at only 27 years old, he continues to work tirelessly to improve Bolt and ensure its excellence. As of now, at the age of 29, his net worth is estimated to be around $2 billion. Number 5. Henrique Dubagras, $1.5 billion at 26. Born in 1996 in Brazil, Henrique Dubagras was raised in a middle class family. He has shown a tremendous knack for technology and business from a young age. He began writing software at 12 years old after teaching himself to code. When he was 16, he had already started his first business. And in 2016, Dubagra and his business partner Pedro Franceschi co-founded Brex, a provider of corporate financial services. The business offers startup companies and other enterprises corporate credit cards. It immediately became well-liked and drew prominent investors and clients. The success of Dubagra is evidence of his drive and business attitude. Despite his youth, he has already greatly impacted the financial and technological industries. His upbringing and history have given him a desire for invention, which he has channeled to found a business that is revolutionizing how companies handle their cash. Number 4. Austin Russell $1.6 billion at 25 Austin Russell was born in 1995 in California and grew up in Orange County. From a young age, he was interested in optics and lasers, and by the time he was in high school, he was already working on projects involving these subjects. He attended Stanford University to study physics, but dropped out after receiving the Teal Fellowship, which he used to focus on his startup, Luminar Technologies. Luminar specializes in developing laser LiDAR sensors, which help self-driving vehicles see their surroundings by using lasers to create a 3D map of the environment. These sensors are considered to be crucial for the future of self-driving vehicles, which are expected to revolutionize the transportation industry. Russell's company has made significant progress since its founding in 2012, securing partnerships with major automakers and attracting the attention of investors. Luminar went public in a SPAC merger in December 2020, making Russell one of the world's youngest self-made billionaires at the age of 25. Russell's success has made him a prominent figure in the tech industry, and he has received several accolades, including being named to Forbes' 30 Under 30 list and Time Magazine's 100 Next list. He continues to lead Luminar as the company works to develop new technologies for the automotive industry. Number 3. Pedro Franceschi $1.5 billion at 25 Pedro Franceschi's journey as an entrepreneur started at a young age. When he was 15 years old, he co-founded a non-profit organization called the Brazil-US Business Council, which aimed to bridge the gap between Brazilian and American businesses. The experience of running the organization gave him a taste of entrepreneurship and he continued to develop his skills and knowledge in this area. After attending Princeton University, Franceschi and Dubagra founded Brex in San Francisco. The startup was launched with the goal of addressing the challenges that startups and small businesses face when trying to access credit. Brex offers a credit card that provides high limits, rewards, and tailored features for startups, enabling them to focus on their core business rather than worrying about financial management. Franceschi's work has not only made him successful, but also serves as an inspiration for other young entrepreneurs to pursue their dreams and make a difference in the world. The young Brazilian is currently one of the world's youngest self-made billionaires. Number 2. Alexander Wang – billion dollars at 25 Alexander Wang is a Canadian entrepreneur and the founder of Scale AI, a company that provides a platform for training and validating machine learning models. As a child, Alexander Wang was a math genius who grew up in the shadow of the United States nuclear weapons program. He dropped out of MIT at age 19 to help start Scale AI with Lucy Guo. By the time he was 25, he made headlines around the world for being the world's youngest self-made billionaire. So how did he become a young Asian American billionaire and how did he get his start in the business world? Wayne began his studies for a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Computer Science as an undergraduate at MIT. During the summer after his first year at the prestigious New England School, he and another young technology expert, Lucy Guo, started Scale AI. Their dedication and hard work paid off when the company received a $350 million investment in 2020, valuing the company at $3.5 billion. The investment allowed Scale AI to expand its services and attract more customers, 
leading to an increase in revenue and company valuation. In 2021, Scale AI received another $325 million in funding, raising the company's valuation to $7.3 billion. Just from a company they started during a summer holiday, Wang is now worth a total of $1 billion US dollars. Not bad for someone who just turned 25. 1. Ritesh Agarwal, $1.1 billion at 24. Born in 1993 in the Indian state of Odisha, he spent his formative years in a small town named Rayagada. Despite being raised in a financially modest household, he excelled academically at a local school. At the age of 16, he relocated to Delhi to pursue further studies, but eventually abandoned formal education in order to concentrate on his entrepreneurial aspirations. Initially working as a software engineer, Argerwal swiftly transitioned to entrepreneurship, launching Orville Stays in 2012, which later evolved into Oyo Rooms. His observation that low-cost hotels in India were not always dependable motivated him to create a chain of budget hotels that adhered to a consistent standard. Oyo Rooms rapidly gained popularity with budget-conscious travelers and secured funding from several investors. Owing to Argerwal's vision and innovative concepts, Oyo Rooms has emerged as one of the world's most rapidly expanding hotel chains. Ritesh Agarwal is currently one of the youngest self-made billionaires in the world, with an estimated net worth of $1.1 billion. He attained billionaire status in 2018 at the age of 24, following the successful $8 million funding round led by SoftBank for his company, Oyo Rooms, which was valued at around $5 billion at that time. Agarwal succeeded because he worked very hard, had a strong interest in what he was doing. He faced many challenges along the way, including a lack of funds and legal issues, but he didn't give up. So there you have it, the fascinating stories behind some of the world's youngest self-made billionaires. It's incredible to see what these young individuals have achieved, and we hope their stories have inspired you to reach for the stars, no matter your age or background. Who knows? you might be the next one to join their ranks. Now, which among them impressed you the most and why?